Welcome back beautiful people. So you're probably here because of my Black Belt Barrister video telling you to come here to watch this one. And if you're not, go and check out my Black Belt Barrister channel afterwards because I'm a Black Belt and I'm a Barrister so I'm the Black Belt Barrister helping you to understand law. So anyway, without further ado, this video is talking about a message that I was sent telling me that someone is disappointed with me for my latest Apple complaint video because the iPhone doesn't come with the charger. Now, before I start anything, this wasn't just me having a go at Apple. I was actually telling you about a case in Brazil where the judge ordered Apple to pay over a thousand dollars to this customer for moral disappointment because it didn't come with the charger. The court also ordered Apple to provide a charger within 10 days to that customer. But let's get back to the content of this message. So with great respect, I'm going to disagree with you, but I'm going to say why I disagree with you. But first of all, taking part of this message, it says most people who buy a new phone still have the charger for their old device and then went on to say that Apple is just trying to do some good in this world. So let me break this apart. First of all, I do agree that most people probably do still have the charger for their old phone, unless of course they've sold it. However, if you are moving as we were from the iPhone 10 to anything above that that requires the USB-C cable, USB-C in the plug end, not the phone end, so you need a plug in the wall that caters for USB-C. Apart from my laptop charger, I didn't have one. So because it wasn't in the box, I had to buy one separately to the phone. So the point that most people probably do still have the charger for their old phone, if it was an iPhone 10 or below, is irrelevant because it won't fit the new phones which require a USB-C as in my case. However, let's look at this from a much more straightforward perspective. If one were buying an iPhone 13 Pro Max with one terabyte of storage, this will set you about £1,549. Now, one might assume that you get a charger or you get everything in the box that is capable of recharging and using and reusing this device for over £1,500. If not, I would expect that to be abundantly clear on the website to say you don't get a charger with this phone, you have to buy it separately. I've already had a flurry of emails from people saying they were caught out by this because they got the phone at home and realized it doesn't have a charger. So let's take a look at the iPhone 13 Pro page on the Apple website and let's see if we can search for the terms charger, plug, lead and so on. So here we are on Apple website, oh so pro. So most of this is obviously about the display and everything else about it. But let's have a quick search, shall we? So let's search for charger. Straight away we get add a MagSafe charger for faster wireless charging. Now note the term here for faster wireless charging. That probably implies that you can charge it without the MagSafe charger. So the MagSafe charger, surely it's faster, but add a MagSafe for faster wireless charging. One might deduce from that that you don't need that, you can charge it anyway. But you can see from here, this is the only time the word charger appears on this page. How about plug? The word plug does not appear on this page. How about the word lead? Um, no industry leading, Apple leadership, the word lead doesn't appear on this page either. How about USB-C? Nope, that doesn't appear on here either. How about USB by itself? That doesn't appear on here either. Is there anywhere on this page that actually tells you that it doesn't come with a charger? Let's take a look at the small print. This is talking about rounded corners. This is talking about water. This is talking about battery life. This is talking about a data plan being required, trade-in values, some features not available in all countries. So actually nowhere on this main page whatsoever does it tell you that it doesn't come with a charger unless I've missed it. But but as you can see, I've searched the page and I cannot find it. Let's go right back up to the top and take a look at tech specs. This hopefully should make clear whether it comes with a charger or not. Size and weight, display, Let's do the same search again. Charger. Again, we have here wireless chargers sold separately. Efficiency performance based on US department, etc. Again, no other mention of chargers apart from the energy efficiency. How about the word lead? Nothing of importance. How about the word plug? Nothing of importance. How about the word separately? Right. Video playback. Um, adapters sold separately. That's for VGA adapters. 
Right, power and battery, here we go. Fast charge capable, up to 50% charge in around 30 minutes with a 20 watt adapter or higher available separately. So again, it's not absolutely explicit that the plug itself is not in the box. But if we look at what's in the box, it does say the iPhone, the USB-C to lightning cable and documentation. Now, of course you can say that this is absolutely clear that this is what's in the box, this is all that's in the box. But should it not also say, for those people that are caught out, because some people are caught out, that there is no plug in this box. You cannot charge the phone without buying a separate plug that is compatible with USB-C. Now going back to the message I was sent, yes, most people do still have the old charger, but none of my old chargers, and I've got lots of them, none of them were compatible with USB-C. I had to buy another one. Even when I bought the MagSafe, which was 30 something pounds, even that doesn't come with a separate plug. I had to buy a plug separately. So two separate purchases I had to make to make use of the MagSafe. Now I had an interesting chat with someone in the comments to the previous video, which was that Apple should offer this as an option when you're buying the phone. And I made the suggestion that Apple could give you a discount when buying the phone if you didn't need the charger with it. Although the message sent to me said Apple do discount their phone to cater for the fact that they don't put the plug in the box. Well, at a price of £1,549 for the top flying phone, I find it hard to believe that they can't squeeze in at no extra cost to the consumer a plug if one needs it. But now also coming back to the environmentally friendly aspect of all this, we went to the Apple shop not to buy a new phone. We went to the Apple shop to repair the old phone because we had the conversation about being environmentally friendly. So I actually take issue with that because we were trying to be environmentally friendly. But here's what went wrong with that. We went into the shop with an iPhone 10 to get the screen replaced and the battery replaced because the screen was damaged and the battery was useless because it was so old. The conversation with the guy at Apple, who to be fair to him was very helpful and kind, said that Apple fixes the price for repairs on the day of release and then they never change. He said it's usually roughly a quarter of the price of the new device. So the replacement screen cost from Apple for an iPhone X was £266.44 and the replacement battery was £69. So to replace the screen and the battery, that would have been £335 to repair the device. Although if you go to Computer Exchange, not a sponsored video, but it's a brilliant place by the way, you can pick up a grade B unlocked iPhone 10 with 256 gigabytes of storage space for around about the same price. In fact, a little bit less. Currently looking at one now, I'll take a screenshot of it for you, is £300. So the cost of repair is roughly the cost of buying a replacement. So essentially, I think there are endless arguments about the environmentally friendly aspect of repairing one or buying a new one. But ultimately, when it comes to a phone being sold at such a price without the plug, I think it should be a little bit clearer that you're going to have to buy the plug separately. Anyway, those are just my thoughts on it. Some of you will agree, some of you don't agree. That's fine. If anyone strongly disagrees, you can put those comments down below so that everyone can read them. Equally, if you agree with me, do let me know in the comments and let me know, have you been caught out by this? Did you first think that it came with a plug and were disappointed that it didn't? Please let me know and please be honest and in the meantime thank you for watching.